Transform dot position is the location of the game objects transform in world space. Now, how do we use that to our advantage? We can use it to move our game object around, up, down, left, right, diagonally, doesn't matter. Now, the nice thing about using um, transform that position is you don't need to use gravity. You don't need to use physics in order to do so. So we're going to go to our player object, and I have a rigid body on here, but I'm going to move it to kinematic. Kinematic means there's no physics being applied to it. So if I were to hit play right now, it would not fall. Gravity is not affecting it. Physics is not affecting it. We're going to add a component. We're going to call it change position. Click new, create and add. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and click on the bell. So there's four different examples that I'm going to show you and each of them use user input. What this code does is when the user presses one of these keys, the transform.position of the game object will increase or decrease depending on the vector3 that we're using. So for instance, vector3.up will increase the transform position by one on the y-axis. Left will decrease it by one on the x, down will decrease it one on the y, and right will increase it once on the x. There is another vector three that you could use, and this is uh, vector three dot forward and vector three dot back. Now, these vector threes increase and decrease the transform up position by one on the z-axis. And since we are uh, mainly focusing on the 2D aspects of Unity, we're not going to worry about the Z-axis for now. So if we hit save, go back into Unity, go hit play, and our character should go up when I hit the W. But it's not. So let's go back to our script. Oh, I have it in the start. So let's just copy and paste that into update, hit save, and go back. And when I hit hit start, it should work this time. Okay, so yep, now he's moving as he should. Go back to our script. For the second example, we didn't have to change the code all that much. Instead of doing get key down, we're doing get key. That way, this happens the entire time this key is being pressed. So what's happening is our game object's transform that position is being increased by vector three up, which is one on the y. We're multiplying that one by speed, which is a public integer that we can set in this vector. And then we're multiplying that number by time dot delta time. We use time dot delta time in order to limit how fast this uh, game object is moving. The update function runs every time a frame. And now your computer might be running 30, 60, 90 frames a second. It all depends on the computer. Now, when we use time that delta time, this bit of code is only happening once a second. Save it, go back into Unity, and hit play. When I push and hold down on the keys, our character will move. Oh, nope. I did not set the speed variable. Let's set it to 5 for now. Yep, and it moves diagonally in all directions. Awesome. And notice that it goes up and down, left and right. Now, if I change my rotation on the Z to 45, it still only goes left and right, up and down. The second example, when we moved our character up and down left and right, a zero degree rotation and a 45 degree rotation, it still moved in the same direction. This next example, it will allow us to move in the direction that the transform is rotated in.
So with this example, the only changes that we had to make to the code was instead of using vector three, we use transform. And instead of using down or left, we use negative up and negative right. Now when we save it and go back into Unity and hit play, game object moves in all directions. Now if I change a rotation, it is now moving in respect to that rotation. Transform.translate moves an object in a direction at a certain speed. Now it's similar to position, however, position is a property of transform and translate is a method that can be used by the transform. Since transform.translate is a vector three, we, we gotta use our X, our Y, and our Z coordinates. You can use vector three up, or left, or down, or right. You can use those, but I wanted to show you a different way of putting it in the code. So what are we doing here? We're going zero on the X, positive speed times time at delta time on the Y, and zero on the Z. Now here, we're going negative speed, times time that delta time on the x and negative speed times time that delta time on the y and then positive speed times time that delta time on the x try saying time dot delta time that many times fast without screwing it up so what this will allow us to do is move in all directions play and see all directions now if i change it to 45 it will follow along with the rotation because we're not going off position, we're going off the transform. All right, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If uh, Don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. And thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.